Hello and welcome. This is Ajinkya. Today's video, we are going to create a simple React and Redux application. And also, we are going to convert this Redux application to use Redux Toolkit. So we are going to scaffold uh, our React Redux application using NPX. Uh, as well, we are going to use a library called React Hawaii, which lets us use uh, cute emojis like uh, cute SVGs like this. So let's scaffold our application using NPX. NPX create React app, and we are just going to call it at cute cat. All right, so that we have scaffolded this application using NPX. Uh, we are also quickly going to add Redux to our application. Uh, let's just first open our scaffolded app. And as you can see, inside my package.json, I have nothing related to the Redux. So let's just simply go ahead and do that. So we are going to add our Redux. So npm install Redux. Redux also needs React Redux. Right. I'm going to save this as dependencies. Okay, I think I've made a little mistake over here. Uh, I should have CD to the folder first, cute cat. And I'm just going to run that same command again. So always make sure to CD to this change directory to the folder of your project. All right, so now we have Redux and React Redux installed. So simply go to your applications, app.js. Let's see what we have right now. So we have a app.js, we have an index.js, and let's just simply try to run this uh, into our browser. Let's see how it looks. npm start. All right, so we have our application running over here. And it has nothing uh, amazing. Uh, it neither has anything related to the Redux things. Okay, so simply uh, going to, um, let's let's just simply change our application to use uh, React Kawaii. Uh, so we have to also install that. All right. So I'm just going to add this library. All right, so as this has installed, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply uh, change few things inside our app.js, which is over here. And I'm just going to replace this with uh, the code which I want to use. We don't need this logo. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so uh, definitely we don't have this modes constant. So I'm going to create an SRC file over here. And I'm going to call it as mood.js. Right. And I'm going to export this mood particularly guy. Okay. 
and let's just export this. So I'm using an auto import plugin into VS Code. Okay, so handle mode update, we have this function missing. For now, I'm just going to uh, have this as an empty constant, which does nothing. All right, few more errors. Ignore. So this is our basic application. So what I intend to do is uh, our cat will have uh, an initial uh, mood, uh, which is going to be kind of an initial state of our Redux uh, reducer. And if I click on any of these buttons, uh, it should change the mood of our cat. Okay, so let's just implement our mood reducer. And as for any uh, Redux uh, application, you have to have a reducer. So that is what I'm going to do over here right now. So, all right. So this is our basic reducer. And each reducer has to have, uh, so as you can see, I'm using this const variable, which is not here right now. So let's just simply going to add that. And also we have an action creator missing. So we also have to have to add that as well. So we have an initial state, which is passed over here. We have an action creator update cat mode, which is what we are going to call inside our React component with the dispatch, of course. And let's see how it looks. So far, nothing new over here. And uh, we have a silly error over here. Let's see why we are getting that. Also, uh, just a given heads up, we are going to call this function inside our app component with help of use dispatch. All right, so uh, this error is, of course, uh, coming from uh, React Kawai. So it is saying we can only use any one of these, but I'm using something called angry. So let's just do that. So as you can see, uh, my initial state of uh, this guys over here is mood.sad, which is one of these variables. So let's just try to implement. Uh, so let's just try to read the state. Uh, so basically read this current mood from our state of mood js uh, of course we have a missing piece over here but you will see what is that missing piece in a moment so first of all uh, let's just call this guy and call dispatch and this is going to be use dispatch which is from react redux we also have to have uh, current state Okay, current mode, which is this guy. And we are going to call this from use selector. So use selector gives us something called state. And uh, uh, so we have to read only the state which we want. In our case, that is mood.js, our reducer. And this accepts an anonymous function. So we will receive state. And the state will have something. So in our case, that is going to be mood. So I'm going to remove this one. Okay. Also, this handle uh, mood update, uh, basically, when you click on this button, it's not going to do anything. Uh, let's just replace this with our dispatch. So basically, we need to read this function update cat mood, which accepts a payload. Uh, so basically, this is an action creator. If you are not aware about anything about uh, React and Redux or action creators, uh, make sure to read, uh, watch my previous videos about uh, Redux. All right. So I'm going to update this function. All right. So let's try to run this. Okay. Yes. 
uh, we have this missing method over here let's just call this so this is exported from mood all right so this is all failing yes uh, as you might have some of the guys you have already guessed so this we created this reducer but we never never created any redux state right neither we are using any providers over here so our application is not aware about the redux store so let's just uh, go ahead and create our store now so let's just import our needed things create store provider reducer so this reducer is this guy uh, i think i should I, I should call this as uh, mood reducer and I'm just going to import same thing over here. So also uh, the missing part over here is the app should be wrapped with a provider. All right. Now this provider is not aware about any stores, right? So we need to pass the store over here. So simply going to create uh, a store over here right now with method called create store. store is equal to create store and this store needs uh, needs to have needs to read our reducers now okay so in our simple uh, case of this application uh, you'll notice we don't have any multiple reducers so since we don't have any multiple reducers uh, we don't even have to think about uh, combining re these reducers. So we are just going to keep our application simple at this moment. Uh, we are of course going to expand this later on, but stay with me. Okay, attempt to error mode reducer is not exported. Let's see why. Okay, I forgot to save this file. Dispatch. Okay, are we not? I'm putting this. All right. So I think there was some import error. And let's see if this is working now. Okay, so our current mood is set to sad over here and we are going to update uh, on click of the button, uh, change this mood. So let's just blissful. Okay, so this is working, but you'll also notice that even though we are using Redux, uh, nothing is being changed over here, right? Uh, so that is where we are going to implement uh, Redux toolkit now. And you will start seeing the changes uh, like instantaneously, the benefit of using uh, Redux Toolkit. Also, uh, we are not using any multiple combined reducers. So uh, just to keep this uh, app really short, but uh, you'll get to see uh, the benefits of using Redux Toolkit now. So, Also, uh, these buttons are not looking good. So I'm just going to add the CSS over here. Just going to do this. Okay. So uh, the simplest change which I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to replace create store with configure store, which is uh, available to us from Redux JS toolkit. So let's just first of all install the Redux toolkit and uh, Redux JS toolkit. Okay, so let's just install that. npm install at Redux JS slash toolkit. And I'm going to save this as dependency.
And once this is downloaded, uh, you will see uh, the toolkit is being added over here to our package.json. And the important thing which I'm going to do over here is I'm going to introduce uh, create configure store. So we are going to create our store, but using configure store and configure store needs a reducer and in this case is going to be this guy mood reducer and we are going to delete this all right so now all we did was we replaced uh, uh, the previous uh, store with configure store and let's just save this and let's just try to run this and see if is there anything changed okay all right nothing changed like it's working as before right but you will notice now our redux plugin is working automatically we didn't have to do any uh, configurations over here right so you can now see that i am changing this and if i uh, like check the state you will see that state is being changed over here all right i can even like travel back to this older guys right so this is our working react and redux application uh, we just introduced uh, redux uh, toolkit we used configure store and in the next video we are going to dive deeper into redux toolkit so stay tuned thank you